So today's video should be pretty quick. I don't even have a mic set up just outside in my yard because it's nice out finally. Uh, and I just wanted to do a quick uh, talk about the upcoming IMCF uh, World Championships in Spain that I'm heading to in about a week. <laughs> So anyone who's followed my page uh, has probably seen me talk about this or heard about it. If you follow my Facebook, you can find me on Facebook or you know my YouTube page. Uh, but I'm heading with my team, the Executioners, as part of Team USA. There's a bunch of other teams going as well. who are going to be traveling to Spain in just about a week uh, for the IMCF World Championships. Uh, to do this, we had to qualify initially um, in Nashville at the AMCF uh, National Championships. My team took second, which originally qualified, uh, qualified us for the 10 spot, the Team 10s. Uh, due to a bunch of shuffling around and the fact that there's essentially two world championships happening a week apart in Europe, um, we kind of split the teams. I mean, I don't think it was planned per se, but some of the teams are heading uh, to the uh, Buhurt League event, uh, the world championship. I don't even know the exact acronym they ended up with. And some of them are heading the IMCF one. So that's where I'm gonna be going. And this meant there was some shuffling of, of teams and captains to make sure we got as many fighters as possible going overseas for the two world championships. Uh, so what, what, what that means for me is my team, the Executioners, is primarily heading the fives, the five-man events. And I'm also going to be participating in the 16s event. So not the, um, not the tens is kind of the other big one for the melee. There's pro fights and duels and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not doing either, but some of our people are. So it's going to be really exciting. I'm super excited to go. This has been a, a goal of mine since I started fighting, since I started five years ago in this sport. My first goal was to make the executioners. I did that. My second goal was to medal at a national event. I've done that multiple times. My third goal was to go overseas. And what you see me holding here today is my USA Tabard. So I'm going to be fighting on Team USA. I am super excited for this. Um, this is different than some of the other tabards you're going to see the teams have. A lot of teams are going to have, uh, fighters are going to have sleeve tabards. Uh, and the reason for that is I've had this now, I think for three years. I qualified three, maybe four years ago uh, for this tournament. And due to COVID, it was canceled and pushed off. So I actually had my tabard made for me. I've never gotten to wear it. It's been in my house. There's even some the dust on it. It's been sitting around. So I just wanted to share like how excited I am to do this. This has been a goal since I started the event. I uh, started in this sport is to go overseas to an overseas event to one of the big uh, uh, tournaments. And like I said, there's kind of two big ones for the international stage uh, this year. And we're going to IMCF in Spain at Belmonte Castle. We'll be fighting at an old castle in Spain in kind of rural Spanish a farmland area from what I can see the pictures. And, uh, you know, I get to finally wear this and, and represent uh, USA at, a, at an international event. So this is a huge deal for me. Um, I really do hope we come down, uh, come come back uh, to US with a medal. I'd love a gold, but any medal will make me happy to at least done it. Um, so that's really what this is about. It's just kind of the, the fact that, you know, if you do go put in the work, if you train hard, if you find the right crew, if you work together, and if you believe, eventually good things can happen. This has been a five-year goal. I don't know where I'm going after this, what my goals are. This was kind of the last of my big goals was to, to get to this level. Uh, and then I've got to kind of figure out what I want to do next. Um, so if you have questions, uh, if you'd like to follow, like, subscribe, hear more about it, um, I will be on a podcast talking about the event after as well, which I'll link to somewhere once that's done. That's going to be when I get back. I'm sure I'll do a follow-up video walking through the, the, what the trip was like. I will have the videos of the fights up as soon as we have them. There will be a live stream. We just don't know what it's going to be linked at yet and how to get it here. So maybe I'll add that to the comments if I, if I get it in time before I leave. Um, but that's it. So this sort of video is really quick. It's just, hey, look at this. I finally get to do it. So um, I'm, I'm more than excited. I am really proud to be doing this. I've had this sitting in my house, like I said, now for years, waiting for the chance. And there were multiple times that I went out, like I went as like a, 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 a merc or like to random events. And I almost wore this because I, I had it and I did earn it. I qualified now in three different events for, for an international tournament for Team USA and it's been canceled. Um, so like part of it was like, man, maybe I'll never get to go and maybe I should just wear it and be proud of the fact that I made it. But I'm, I'm really glad I didn't. I've held on to it. It's, it's uh, just been sitting around waiting for the opportunity. So I'm going to get to go over there, 
fight with my team primarily for the fives and then you know my, my executioners new england team make up the core of the fives and then part of the 16 team as well uh which is gonna be awesome i've never done high level 16s fighting so that's gonna be a unique experience um it does look like right now day one of a four-day tournament is gonna be pretty rough <laughs> Uh, because the pool I'm in for fives uh, is it happens, so I have a bunch of fights for the fives, and then the pool for the 16s that I'm in is immediately afterwards. So it's going to be uh, a real grind of a day. Um, you're going to have to, you know, strap on those big boy shoes and and go out there and realize you're going to suffer. It's going to be tough, and you're going to be exhausted. And I'm going to be hated at some points, but I'm going to do it because this is what I've been training for and trying to get to. And I'm hoping that with all the effort, with all the training, with all the work we've been putting in. We can represent well um, and come home with the medal. And like on a very personal note, like I never thought as a kid I would get to ever do something where I'd get to wear the American flag and represent the U.S. at an international event. That's not the thing I thought. I never was like, you know, obviously this is in the Olympics, but it's pretty close for me. Um, I never thought I'd get the chance to be a country representative. Um, and I've worked really hard. I've put a lot of effort in uh, to get to this. Um, I put sacrifices in. I've sacrificed lots of nights and lots of days and lots of traveling. My family has supported me uh, in that they know that I'm traveling to events. Uh, when I'm going to Spain, I'm only going over pretty much for the tournaments. We're not making a family trip out of it, unfortunately, because of the time of year it is. And my kids are in school, so um, they don't want to miss their, their varsity sports, but they're important to them. So I'm going to be going over there, pretty much flying over spending uh, you know, a day on each side of the event, just kind of like for recovery and for also making sure I'm there on time. But I'm really going for this, and this is a, this is a big deal. So, um, you know, thank you everyone for watching, following my journey uh, over these last couple of years while I've been documenting them and sharing tips and techniques. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do more. I've got a whole list of videos to do, uh, suggestions from different people. One thing I wanna start including is a little more fundamental grappling, so we're gonna be doing that as well. But that's all down the line. Right now it's just, uh, wish me luck. I'm heading to Spain uh, on the quest for Spanish gold, as we're calling it. Uh, so fighting for Team USA, and uh, that's really it for today. Like, subscribe, follow, all those wonderful things. There's a link to merch down there if you want to help fund uh, me and help support me so I can go on these trips. I would appreciate it. Uh, and if anything else, leave a comment um, and maybe just a thumbs up. Have a great day.